Hey guys, this is Nifra and you're watching my YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing a special thing for you. A uh, walkthrough of my remix of Marcus Schultz featuring Cebu uh, from Capital Cities up on my shoulders. Check it out. What's up guys, this is Nifra and you're watching my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to do a little walkthrough of uh, some of my tracks that been released. And uh, I was asking you a couple of weeks ago, it was quite a long time, <laughs> uh, which track you, want, you would like me to uh, review and show you how I made it. And there was a couple of requests um, to show you my remix of uh, Marcus Schultz uh, featuring Cebu upon my shoulders. Um, I started this track, I uh, actually started my set with this track. Um, at uh, the ASOT studio and after that I got so many messages and comments about it. Um, it is definitely one of my favorite works, my own works, um, because I really really love the original already and I just wanted to do something cool with it. Um, so I asked Marcus for parts and uh, uh, the original is slightly different, uh, it has the same melody of course and uh, I'm keeping all the vibe the same and everything. It's just uh, a little bit more driving uh, in the grooves and that's what I originally wanted to do. Um, so yeah, and it is very simple, uh, especially when it comes to the grooves because I just wanted to keep it simple. I actually went to listen to the older Cole Harbor tracks from like 2012 and I just wanted to capture the vibe of that. So um, let's hear the groove. So as you can hear, um, there is a big stab in there. I have actually a couple of layers and it's playing this rhythm. I am using um, some uh, transient shaper here, Saturn, uh, Imager and uh, yeah, I just wanted something really simple because I thought that it would work better on the dance floor. Uh, back in the day I used to um, overcomplicate my tracks a little bit and uh, these days I like more simplified grooves. So I just wanted like a cool step with a cool bass line which m creates much more impact at the end and everything can breathe instead of like stacking it with bunch of samples and uh, little um, melodies or I don't know um, just you know sometimes I feel that tracks are overly complicated and most of the channels you can't even hear <laughs> and um, lately I've been muting things to to see or hear uh, what stands out the most and the cleaner the sound the better on the dance floor I think so I layered this sound. I'm actually holding my microphone with one hand, so just bear with me. It's really hard to do this. So one open, uh, super saw, and one really tight. And in the background, I also have uh, just a percussion playing the same rhythm. If you know my track Never Forget, that is based basically on uh, one rhythm and I'm just layering and layering the groove with uh, the, s the same rhythm but different kinds of sounds, different kinds of synths. And that, I, I don't know, I really like when something is, you can repeat it but it doesn't feel like it's being... Uh, like it's boring or anything. So uh, I'm adding here more samples and uh, let's also go to the bass section. So 
So this is the rhythm for the bass. I have one off uh, beat bass there, just as something extra. And also another layer, a little bit more in the mid section. And on this percussion, I doing pitch ma pitch band, which is really nothing uh, unusual in my production. I really love pitch bands, so yeah, just uh, think it's a one octave. Let me check. Yeah, it's just one octave. the breakdown which Carrying you. I just wanted it to be just the vocal is so amazing so I wanted it to stand out just on its own with a little bass change and uh, I think that's how it was in the or original as well just the bass and the pads and yeah, I just, I love this vocal so much. Uh, Cebu has such an amazing, amazing voice. Uh, you definitely heard him also on two other tracks that uh, Marcus remixed together with Gruby and, and Hovsepian, which was um, One Minute More. And there was one track, um, I don't remember the name right now, but that was the first one that they remixed and it just the co harbor sound fits so well with the with his voice love it are you gonna let go are you gonna let go as in the sky the world is spinning and turning to gold we fly together stay young forever So this is the pad section. Um, these are the chords basically throughout the entire track. Bass. You definitely recognize this uh, bass sound because um, I use it quite a lot. Um, it's just a normal Hoover bass. And uh, then I'm revealing the melody. Oh, I'll never let go. So the melody is really amazing and I really wanted to keep it there in the track. Um, Marcus wanted a more pad kind of drop, so that's what I did. And But I still wanted to implement the, the, you know, melody into it because it's just so nice. It's definitely one of the best melodies from last year. And so the pads are definitely taking over here. Um It's such an uplifting track and I just love the vibe of it. Um it, you definitely see on the dance floor a lot of happy faces and even people on the shoulders. <laughs> so it was so much fun to work on this one. Just really happy with it. Um, here we are approaching the bridge. <laughs>
Risers and some other So yeah, that's the first part of the drop, and um, the second part, I just like I said, I wanted to bring back the melody, so I uh, basically changed the patterns in two of the channels and brought another channel. Approaching another bridge, uh, just bringing back the vocal uh, with the bass, um, with the Hoover bass, and just filtering everything out. Also, here is the original guitar from the from Marcus's version. So a little acoustic element. The world is spinning and turning the gold. We Back to the simple groove, but honestly, in a club it sounds amazing. I was really surprised how well this works. Um, I dropped it for the very first time at Transmission Pre-Party when I was still working on the remix in my hotel room right before that. That was last year in October, I think. And actually Marcus was coming to the pre-party because he played the day after. And he didn't even know I'm gonna drop it. He didn't know anything. And I told him, like, come on stage. <laughs> uh, that would be cool because I'm gonna play the remix. So he did. And it was a pretty cool moment as he, haven't, he hasn't heard the track before. Uh, not even a preview. So uh, it was quite amazing. And yeah, when the groove dropped... I had my boot monitors completely up and I was like, wow, this is good. I'm really, really happy with this. So, as far as the effects, I have quite a big effect section as you can, hear, as you can see here. These are all effects, just the samples from the different sound banks different sample banks I mean and also here was another yeah here's a couple more just the risers impacts uh, you name it all kinds of things I like to keep it quite interesting throughout the track uh, so there is a lot of different uh, samples um, also as far as the master chain goes um, I do start with a master chain, but I am trying to uh, switch things up a little bit and maybe in the future start without a chain because I feel like it, it kind of limits you a little bit. Um, but this is my original master chain. I sometimes use all of these things and sometimes I just, uh, you know, turn it off like here. The multiband is off, uh, ozone is off. Um, I'm using a couple of uh, T-Rex plugins already for years. Um, compressor, clipper, um, 
here is uh, just a free this is a free EQ and a limiter and you know I like my tracks quite loud so yeah, this one is definitely loud you can see it so the RMS is around 60 dB so this is it guys let me know if you have any questions. This track, this remix was fully produced by me, so you don't need to worry about any other people sitting here or helping me out because it's that's just bullshit. And even if you hear sometimes something like this from others because they don't know better, uh, really, I have no ghost producers. So um, I really love making music. I've been... Uh, in the music business for more than 10 years and producing already since I was 16 so I don't really need anybody to uh, to do anything for me um, yeah I will do more of these uh, just let me know if you guys want to see a particular track I'm more than happy to show you uh, there was also a lot of requests for the attack with the fisherman and I think I'm gonna do that next. So just keep your eyes open <laughs> and yeah, I better start to make some more music now. See you guys!